Good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Jen Dalton. And I'm Bob Herzog. And oh my goodness, we got friends here. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming right with us. Disney's Finding Nemo Jr. opens this weekend at the Taft Theater. Yes, it's very exciting. And this morning we are joined by artistic producing director of the Children's Theater of Cincinnati, our friend Roderick Justice, who brought along some of the stars of the show with him. And he's going to teach us a little bit about them this morning. Oh, hi. hi, thanks for having me. Thanks and for coming in, buddy, and it's bringing friends. Beautiful. Thank you for welcoming our fishy friends yeah. built by Fresh Marionettes. Well, why don't you pick uh, Dory up, and I'll let you have oh. Nemo. And this is uh, okay. Nemo's friend, Tad. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a puppet demonstration for our friends who are going to come to the Taft and see us this weekend and next weekend. But they have a couple of triggers that make these, these folks come to life. If you <laughs> press on the bottom trigger on yeah. yours and the top oh, trigger on yours, that activates the mouth. And really, you don't have to do every single syllable, but it's really every single word that helps oh, yeah, <laughs> truly animate these fish. Yeah. Bob, you actually have three triggers. Oh, boy. You Ooh. have a trigger up here that will uh, take the eyes from side to side. So, so they actually oh. go this way. Yeah, so they can oh. look at Tad. And I, I have a trigger that. You know, Tad's a little obnoxious, and he can be a little nervous sometimes. So, but but uh, he can have his eyes go side to side, and oh. then a trigger on the side to make him blink. You do not have eyes that go side to side, because she's a little la 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 la, little dazed and confused. Oh, but, um, but she can have a sleepy eye and then be very surprised mm. when she has an idea. <laughs> Whoop! There she is. <laughs> Oh, Jen, it's like yes. you've been doing that all your life for crying out loud. Special puppeteers, and the way we uh, we activate these puppets are is that they just keep bobbing. They keep bobbing along, and they have these wonderful fins in the back that help them look like they're swimming along. Just oh. keep swimming along. How so, long? Yeah. Does it take one of the performers? Because that, that's the thing. It's not like the, the, the voices that come to life on stage are just pre recorded somewhere. The, right. the, the people who are bringing these things to life also have to make them sound like they're coming to life as well. Absolutely. How long does it take to acclimate to all that, Roger? Well, we have a rehearsal process of four weeks before we go into the theater. Yeah. And uh, these puppets get into their hands. Some, some of the puppets get into their hands day one, yeah. but others that are being built or, or being finessed or being. Um, tweaked in the process, they, they sometimes come in you know, week two or three, so a, yeah. a lot of our puppeteers don't have a lot of time with it, but we do it in the audition process yeah. with the puppets um, so that they can um, see how they can activate, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love it. So Kevin Frisch designs just amazing, uh -oh. amazing puppets, you know, in, in so work. many different shows, you've had him do this kind of work. Mm -hmm. When he has to take on a project like this, where it's based on characters that are so, so specific that everyone knows and everyone loves, what is that like for him to meet that challenge? Well, we meet with the director, uh, who is uh, Mr. Nate Bertoni, and he had this idea of going back to some of the original line work drawings that Disney and Pixar oh, do. Oh, wow. So they aren't carbon copies of what you will see animated. We're basing them off of some of the line work that you see. Yeah. Uh, the sketch work, when they're first initially sketching the idea of what these characters could be, a lot of the line work that you see is incorporated in the set and the props as well. So that's really the inspiration. So they're not carbon copies, but there are certain things that you know you can't steer away from. Nemo is a clownfish. Nemo <laughs> does have one smaller fin than the yeah. other, and so uh, there are certain elements that we stick with. Uh, but there's no way to deviate from being a clownfish. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But Jen is just going to keep swimming. Jen, you're all over the place. Are you okay over there? Yeah, just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's really fun to, to activate the tail and, and make sure that they have a, a lot of motion because I, I, most of the show, almost you know, yeah. 99 percent of it is underwater. How how difficult is it for the performers? Because look, these are these are fairly light, but you hold anything up like this for for yeah, an hour. My arms are already getting tired. I mean, I mean so. seriously. I mean, that's you, that, that's a little that's a little extra physical you know, mm -hmm. oomph you've got to give to your performance. And some of our performers play five or six different pet puppets Oh my gosh, we're seeing some of the video right now. Uh -huh. Look at that. So, so yeah, gorgeous. see, our, our uh, set is, you know, underwater for the most part, so we needed these puppets to also have height, so they need to be able to get up into the air yeah. to take up the space of the Taft and make sure that they are um, uh, not so low to the ground. They are in the middle of our stage. Yeah. Uh, and this is rehearsal footage right now. We, they, this is their first time on stage yesterday, so they're not even in costumes, which are really cool because they're all in scuba 
diving. No! Oh, blue awesome. scuba suits. So yeah, Is they that kind what of they're blend away into the oh. big blue world out there. And then we have these waves that help us look like we're underwater as oh. they oscillate back and forth. I have a new appreciation for the folks who hold the puppets because, again, like, you know, just from walking around and right. being silly here for a couple minutes, my arms are hurting. So I can imagine what they have to go through, yeah. you know, on a daily basis. Well, and, and some of our um, bigger puppets, they wear a backpack and it's almost like, remember those angler, the angler fish yeah. that has the little, yeah. we have that mechanism that holds some of the puppets over their head. So some of the bigger puppets like Gill in the, in the fish tank when yeah. You, yeah. And, and Gurgle and Bubbles, those those have these big, uh, almost anglerfish style uh, hooks that help balance the puppet up in the air. Does does Crush make an appearance? Of course, in the Crush show? makes an appearance. Okay, I mean, Crush uh, and his his uh, offsprings, <laughs> his squirt, and, and <laughs> the, he gets caught in the current. Of course, it, 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 we've got Crush, we've got the sharks, Bruce, and oh, Anchor. How big now are those? Uh, bigger, or is the whole so, set kind of set a little bit smaller so you can fit everybody on? So the director went back again to those uh, those initial sketch drawings when they're trying yeah. to decide which um, version of the show is going to end up in the animated version. And there are these sketch drawings of Bruce and of, of Anchor and yeah. um, of Chum. And he kind of incorporated that. So they're a different style of puppet where they're kind of almost skeletal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so they, they hang off to the side oh. and off the shoulder as they float around. Right. So they're very, there's a lot of different styles of puppets. You've got marionettes, you've got some um, some sea snails that come in, and those are true marionettes where their strings are pulling, uh, activated by a stick, yeah. What an incredible experience. I, recently, uh, I brought my son, and we've come to see a lot of the shows, but I brought a friend of his that had never seen a live theater performance mm -hmm. before, and as soon as the characters came out on stage and started moving. He was like, oh, they're moving. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that's what theater's about there. The, you know, yeah. and he just yep. thought it was the most amazing yep. experience that he had ever seen. It, it's a way to um, get all of the arts in one hour. I mean, you've got, yes. you've got music, you've got dance, you've got acting, you've got singing, you've got um, uh, costume design, uh, fashion, and painting, and construction, and electrics. All of it's all incorporated into one hour. It, the, our shows are an hour. To be, right, to be right, which is so nice. Ages. Yeah, and, and right teaching, in front of you with no screen. With no screen, and that's. I mean, I think the biggest thing that this child was taking away was like these are actual people up there doing it, yep. and it teaches them how to, you know, be accustomed to being in front of a live audience. Or, I mean, in a live audience, which right. is, is you always give a nice speech at the beginning. You know, turn your phones off. We're paying mm -hmm. attention, but you can clap when it's appropriate. And I think it's just such a great experience all around. And it creates curiosity. That's yes. kind yeah. of the philosophy to to make sure that we're exercising children's imaginations. <laughs> Because well, I want them to go home and make their own puppets. Right. Oh, right. yeah, 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 Come for on. sure, I for mean, sure. You, it's, it's something that you can go home and, and continue to play with that imagination. And put that spark in them of maybe I want to be up there one day, or right. I want to be the one creating the puppets, or, or I want to be the one behind stage. To go see, see, see the things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've got such amazing arts in the city, and the Children's Theater Cincinnati, that's why we're here, is to create the next generation of arts patrons, arts lovers, and make sure we they become lifelong lovers of the arts. So it's a great um, experience. It's a beautiful show. It's opening this weekend. Yep. And tickets start at just $12. That's amazing. It's, it's $12. Be, yeah. And great seats all over the house. And just go down and spend a day in the city. See the show. Roger, thanks for coming in. Oh, gosh. Thank you for bringing all of us in. Break a, break a fin, I break guess. A I don't know. That's, yeah. a, that's a thing. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more, so click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe, that way you'll catch more content from Local 12.